Hey everyone, welcome back to another uh, one of my videos. Today I'm going to be going over the parts I got from Corpan. This is the Graflex 2.5 bottom. It will fit with the 2.0 kit. And basically uh, it is the back section and it also has the inner core, uh, but not the anodized black part inside. I also um, asked for an extra brass pin that I had lost. And I want to see if I got what I asked for, uh, but I believe he did um, will actually uh, come through because uh, he assured me himself uh, personally on email. So let's see. Um, we have our box and we're going to be needing a knife to open it. If you have a paper uh, cutting tool that would be uh, optimum. If you also have some pliers that would be great. Uh, you never know you might need them, your precision screwdriver for, you know, picking things into tight spaces, your allen keys, and of course double-sided tape. And you're also going to need some beer, cold beer, because it's a Friday, I got back from a difficult day from work, and I need to kick back real good. And what better way to kick back than to uh, open my um, new box that I got from Corbath. Uh, this beer will be useful much later, so um, I'll show you where, but as of now, I'm going to open it. It's not the only thing that's going to be open today. Uh, and um, if you have beer with you or anything that will uh, cool you down, please feel free to join me. So, without further ado, let's get to this. Um, this sticker uh, over here means that it passed through customs and it didn't have any import charges, which is weird, which is great. I'm not going to say no to that. So let me just cut through with my knife. I wish I had my uh, uh, cutting knife back at work. Would have made a short job out of this. But since this is stuck real good, we're going to, yeah, we're going to, yeah. Where does this thing open from? Yeah. It's only gonna open from here. So I wanna say a personal thanks to Corbanth for uh, sending this to me. Real quick, I ordered this on the 18th and today on uh, the 27th of July, uh, 2018, it came and I might say, I might add that it came very fast. Let me just cut this over here and over here. Come on, I do this for a living. I should know how to open a box. Okay. I want to open this as tightly as possible. I don't want to make a huge mess of things. It's something that I adopted from my, uh, from my job. It's a habit that I did. I'm kind of neat that way. Okay. So there we go. Brass flex and brass pin. Um, this there's a note here from Corban himself, uh, the uh, Graflex back end and the pin that I personally requested because, uh, as you remember, I lost mine over here, and I'm hoping that he did pull through. If he did, Randy, if you're watching this, uh, if this ever gets through to you, I wanna say a huge thank you. I've said thank you so many times on email and this is me forcing it out. Uh, the service that Corban provides for me, his customer, to keep me satisfied is amazing. And as I'm recording this, I have some very cool news. I also have one of my first Sabre commissions I'm going to be building a lightsaber for a friend, and uh, I think it's going to be cool. I'm, of course, I'm going to be showing this off. So, let's see what the box has. So, as it always has, the back end of the Graflex, the Empire Strikes Back, and a New Hope uh, bags. This is the New Hope bag. This is the grip with it and one of the screws on the back just was open. And here is the extra brass pin that I asked for. Corban, you are the best. Uh, 
I'm happy. I, I'm really, really, really happy. Uh, does it have the... Um, well, I guess it doesn't have the... Well, he has the grips, but it doesn't have the uh, clamp activation, uh, you know, the bubble card and the circuit board. But that's not a problem because I already have mine. Uh, it's in my bag, actually. I took it to work because I was doing some... Uh, I was trying to fix some dimensions and stuff. I wanted to calculate some things. So the extra pin that I ordered, that I requested actually, not ordered officially, but I requested an extra pin and he was kind enough to oblige. Um, this is it. I lost it. I'm so happy. Uh, Corvanth, you're, you're the best actually. Thank you so much. Uh, so we're going to be installing this right now because it has been bothering me for days. And um, since I don't have the uh, Graflex shop uh, specific little, you know, brass pin key, if you will. And oh, it feels so good to have a brass pin back here again. Uh, make sure to tighten these down. Very nice and easy. This is tiny, my hand is shaking, I'm so excited. I... <laughs> anyway, um, you should be very careful with your brass pins and generally your Graflex, it's not a chew toy. You need to be very careful with your Graflex. If you've paid so much money and put so much effort into it, you need to take care of it. No, I'll be back in a second. I, I'm, I just can't do this right now, hold on. Okay, guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to install this. I do have my precision screwdriver. Uh, it's not modified yet, or ever. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use it just to um, attach the pin that I misplaced. And since I'm going to be damaging the threads, I want to tighten this down. Now, all you have to do is just spin the pin in place you want to use your finger to see if it's you know bobbing about loosely and we have restored our pin that we lost and just make sure that the other pins are uh, placed in safely just twist it twist the rest Oops, that didn't sound too good. I'm not going to mess with it. Now nah, screw it. But we have restored our pins. It's four out of four, as you can see. And my graphics looks, looks beautiful again. Randy, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are the best. Um, I had one request, and uh, you actually came through, and I really appreciate that. And I hope that I can, to the best of my abilities, do whatever... I can, you know, whatever is possible so I can um, work with you in the future. So if I start doing Sabre commissions, you know that you're my guy. And um, that's that. Okay, so we have our seven grips. And I also have my other bags. So um, this is the Empire Strikes Back configuration. And since we already have it on our Graflex, I'm not going to be going with that. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it away. And I want my bubble card for the A New Hope version. This is it. And... Okay, so... I'm taking all of these things aside. And let's see what we need right now. What I need right now is another sip. For my beer, I need to finish this because I'm going to be needing the aluminum for the bubble card when I cut it out with my pair of scissors. Um, and these A New Hope grips are the ones that I'm going to be using. There we go, seven grips, and let's go over the, um, the back end. It comes in a bubble bag, so that's two bubble bags for me, and the inner core. So I'm going to unthread this. And it has its uh, back end. 
So I'm not going to be needing this, but it's always good to have. You need a Dremel list if you're making a Graphlex. Remember, if you check my video series, How to Build a Graphlex, on uh, video number three, part three, necessary mods, I show you what you need to do with this part. So let me just put this aside into its box. I'm going to put these in the box as well. So we have everything we need for the A New Hope configuration. So if you've seen my video series part two, uh, kit configuration, I follow the same thing with my back end for the uh, Empire Strike, the A New Hope, um, sorry, the Empire Strikes Back configuration. Now we're going to be going with the A New Hope one. So you need to make sure that you've got your right holes. So the ones that are spaced out uh, wider than the other ones are the a new the Empire Strikes Back Force Awakens and Last Jedi grips uh, like this one. We want the seven holes which are you know spaced closer together. So this is where I'm going to unthread the. This is tightly thread, threaded. Shit, I have to fix this. So um, I'm going to also be getting some alcohol and my uh, free cloth. I'll be back in just one second. Okay, we're back with our uh, rubbing alcohol and our lint-free free cloth with the flowers, if you remember from the video, because we're elegant. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to clean the um, stains off of our um, back end. So let's do this real quick. We just rub, 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 rub. Let's show you guys. But you know how to clean stuff. If you don't, then you have a problem especially if you're in your um, mid-twenties, like I am. I'd say late, but just just say that I'm in my late twenties. Okay, so you rub, and it's perfectly clean. So, uh, we're going to be applying the adhesives, but first we need to unthread uh, the pommel section and uh, the way to do that is, of course, the D-ring for A New Hope, which goes over here. Let me show you. There we go. And if I take my Allen key set, find which one is the right Allen on the first try, which is great. Uh, I never was a huge A New Hope fan the lightsaber but um, it's perfect and it is a beautiful addition to any lightsaber collection uh, ask General Grievous he knows he has a huge lightsaber collection I hope to surpass him one day so you just tighten this and the pommel got tightened so if I take the D-ring D oh, ah, this is this is tight um, Uh, what I'm what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to use the um, Empire Strikes Back configuration and I'm going to unthread this in a quick second. Okay, guys, I managed to get the pommel off. It was jammed in there very, very firmly, so I had to use my uh, ESB um, D-ring grip to get it off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it onto a New Hope and. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my D-ring now. That is why the <laughs> Empire Strikes Back uh, configuration was, to me, it was a lot, a, a lot better, a lot safer. So let me just take my Allen wrench and let me show you what I'm fixing. Oh, you know what I'm fixing. I'm just trying to thread this whole thing together. And it's a big ass screw. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Yeah, you are. Okay, so center that in here. There we go. So to center that, you should use the. Um, the hole for the D-ring on the Empire Strikes Back, there is a threaded hole on one of these sound holes. 
has a threaded uh, hole and that's what you should use to line your D-ring or you hope and that's that let's hope that doesn't spin around and we have done it and since uh, I'm going to take this off to configure it real quick so make sure you tighten this and that you clean your that you clean your pommel again because you have to touch it. I had to touch it. If you haven't touched it and you managed to unthread this, then you're gold. So um, let's start. Okay, guys. Um, let's let's get started. So I'm going to take my cloth again and my rubbing alcohol. Better not mix it with my regular alcohol because I might have to rush to the hospital. Uh, I'm still on that beer and I'm going to be needing it for the configuration of this well, graphics bottom. And like I said, if you want to get a new graphics hilt altogether, if you want to make a new one, that is all up to you. You can follow my steps on my video how to build the graphics. So, to me, this is nice and clean. And like I said, this is the seven holes, and these are the six holes for the um, Empire Strikes Back, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and now we're going to be going with the traditional A New Hope Raflex. So I'm going to be putting my Allen keys back where they belong. And, oops. I'm going to start configuring this real, real nice. Okay, let me center the mat. There we go, like that. So we installed our our D-ring for a new hope, which looks a lot sturdier than uh, the Empire Strikes Back, and I guess that is true. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to um, follow my steps and put this over here like this. Now, if you need to, on the previous video we had our clamp as our guide, but right now we're going to be needing to um, align this without a clamp, which is going to be a lot harder. So you just take the, um, the plastic of the sticker, that is, and you start adhe adhering the bonds onto your lightsaber. And I had a method which is where I would creep the um, rip onto the surface of my cutting mat, which was straight, and I would examine if there was, if it was sticking out. It's not. So then, what I do is I just I press it down like that. So you guys know the drill. You've seen this on my video. If you haven't, just check how to build the graph legs by the Prodigal Legion and uh, you'll see it done. This is from part two. So I stuck it, I guess, and then we just hold it like this. And I think that it's a, it has adhered properly. So I'm going to go and do this real quick off screen. Uh, so Okay, before I go, let me just show you how you do it. Okay, you've stuck your first uh, grip. So what you do is you clean the rest with the alcohol that you have. And you go on to the second one. What you have to do is you have to unstick. Make sure you don't catch your nail under the uh, adhesive between the grip and the uh, red tape. Mine kind of did, but it won't matter because uh, it's just a little, it's just a scratch, as all the clone troopers would say. So then I follow the second grip like this, use my cutting mat as a guide, 
make sure this is nice and straight and I'm going to eyeball it and that looks okay I guess so you know the drill uh, I'll be back when I'm done with all seven grips we're down to our last grip and as you can see I think that I've done a pretty good job I used the uh, cutting mat and the grip itself to align with the uh, body of the lightsaber and so far I don't feel any inconsistencies I don't feel it tighter or looser I feel them um, at the same length I feel that they're evenly spaced and I feel that they're great so let us do the last grip together because I've done the rest of the six by myself well the rest of the five because I showed you how to do the first one so what we do is we take our grip and we take off the tape and it's all red Praetorian Guard red and since these are T-grips they help us in this fashion we just use the PVC cutting mat since we don't have a clamp and we use our finger to align the grip and when we're sure that it is aligned, and I'm pretty sure that it is, we just squeeze the whole thing together. Just use your, all of your force. Let the force flow through you in a final squeezy push. Okay? Examine that nothing sticks out. If nothing sticks out, you have done a good job. This is your A New Hope pommel section, which is great, which is very, very cool and let us thread our bearing into this and this should thread into place now i don't know if it's aligned yet but we have our a new hope back end so i finished my beer and i do have my bubble card and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my Reflex clamp, loosen it completely, so I can take my uh, circuit board off. And that's what I believe uh, Corbent did. It is a very successful strategy to implement. There we go, let's just take the whole thing off. We have the retention screw on. Make sure to hold your clamp. And I'm taking off. Let me loosen this a bit. So I have two Graflex halves the A New Hope half and the Empire Strikes Back, Force Awakens, and Last Jedi. We're going to be focusing on the A New Hope half. But, you're going to tell me that we still have the Empire Strikes Back uh, red button section and the clamp card. But I do have my bubble strip here. And I'm going to take my beer and I'm going to be cutting the aluminum section uh, that I'm going to need to the, dimen to the dimensions of the uh, bubble card. So I'll be back in just a sec and I will be replacing the uh, glass eye with the red button. So hold on. Okay guys, let's wrap this up real quick. I managed to configure it to a New Hope, which is great. Um, a lot of people do not prefer the style because um, they say that it wasn't used that much in the movies. Luke used it for a couple of training um, all sessions on the Millennium Falcon and when he got acquainted with it the first time uh, in Obi-Wan's hut on Tatooine but um, a lot of people are fans of this some others aren't they don't prefer it some people say it's the original concept of the graphics that is why um, that is why they prefer it 
Now others would prefer The Empire Strikes Back, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, because you know it's more action packed and stuff. So um, it's a matter of personal preference. But here uh, I would like to have both. Uh, I, I like having both uh, iterations of the lightsaber. Um, so it's not exactly an accuracy mod because the clamp should have been on the other side, the clamp lever should have been up like this. And uh, I know some of the elitists out there are having a heart attack, but um, what can you do? So, um, it is a cool saber, I really like it this way, it's very more aesthetic, and um, I like how, um, how it looks. I never realized it until I actually configured it this way. And if you want to change it, you just simply need a few things. You need, of course, your, um, you know, this is a bit of heat shrink, this goes to the side. Uh, you're going to be needing your Allen keys, a precision screwdriver, your Empire Strikes Back button, and your uh, circuit card. Now, now that I got my uh, Allen keys over here, uh, we can start... Um, we can uh, configure it to whatever we like. So, if you want to go with the uh, Empire Strikes Back, all you have to do is you just open your clamp lever and caution, just don't do too many changes all the time, just don't change it back and forth because um, I don't know, I may be wrong, but it would stress the clamp lever going in and out, in and out like this and um, you don't want that to happen. So, what you do is loosen it uh, almost completely and then you take your uh, precision screwdriver and you just pop this thing off and I'm going to show you what I've done okay so I have some double sided tape here as you can see and I have some aluminum from the beer can that we used earlier and I cut it to the dimensions of my um, bubble card and I put two thin stripes of uh, double sided tape so that uh, the color is uh, is even throughout the entire bubble card. I've seen a lot of uh, iterations of the A New Hope bubble card where there was a few black gaps inside the um, bubbly sequence and to me it wasn't aesthetic so that's why I put the aluminum and the double sided tape on the side so that when the clamp covers this the bubble card looks um, you know as close as it can to the uh, original. So. Uh, that's that. You just pop that out. Now that's out of the way. All you have to do is you just have to unthread the back end of the A New Hope Saber. And this slides out perfectly with our 3D printed chassis. Uh, it never gets old. I really love looking at it. And now what we do is we uh, slide our Empire Strikes Back, uh, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Uh, grips, which are a lot thinner, thinly spaced out, and we just thread this until it stops right about here. And uh, so then we take our clamp card and we insert it inside, and with one finger we hold it down, we make sure that it is aligned and we tighten the clamp lever so that way it shouldn't be going anywhere we just tighten it a bit more uh, if it's too tight it won't work and let's see if this, if this works uh, we unthread the bottom section of it I'm hoping that I didn't pinch any of my uh, Activation wires there. That's something. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. That's something to keep in mind. The Graflex 3. And no, it's fine. It's perfect. It works. So uh, one of the things that I realized that uh, the bubble card is a little um, difficult because it is kind of you know curved, as you can see here. Uh, it has this little you know like curve on the inside. It's not completely flat like the uh, clamp card, the circuit card for the uh, Empire Strikes Back. So this is why this is a lot sturdier as a design and that is why I also guess people prefer it because it is a more rigid um, material and it can activate and deactivate the lightsaber easily. Well, 
uh, I had some trouble holding down the uh, bubble card although it just took a light tap to turn it on and off but if I wanted to interchange sound fonts uh, it would hurt my finger because uh, uh, well it, w it was just so tightly snug and you have the Force Awakens configuration and Last Jedi because it has the glass eye so what we need to do to change this is we take the glass eye off the glass eye replica because it's not a glass eye it's chrome and we just take our uh, Empire Strikes Back button we thread it over here which is also our retention screw and you have configured it to the Empire Strikes Back and now some of you would might say that you need some mylar tape and take the beer tab off for an accurate Empire Strikes Back uh, configuration uh, you are absolutely right but um, I'm trying to be as flexible as I can and um, I prefer it this way I really do uh, I like the fact that it still has its beer tab on and in the Force Awakens uh, iteration the beer tab is back on and there's no mylar tape the reason why they use mylar is I believe to um, cover the Graflex logo that was uh, etched on the clamp and now that there is no Graflex logo I don't think that we need to use it so that's that you can interchange very easily and the most easy solution is if you add another Graflex but that's that this is our uh, a New Hope bottom so I'm going to change it again to a New Hope because uh, I want to um, I want to indulge into its beauty so again you loosen the clamp lever just enough make sure that it doesn't pop out and you take your precision screwdriver um, and you just the, the clamp card is the easiest to take out by the way because I have just a little bit of uh, aluminum at the bottom of it so then all you have to do is you have to unthread your back end make sure that you do not pinch any wires you can look between your clamp you just take that out of the way our beautiful crystal uh, and you just pop this back inside and you hold it again with your one hand make sure that the uh, bubble card is aligned within the uh, clamp itself and tighten it not too much because like I said it will press keep the activation switch pressed so you see that's one of the problems um, so if that's too tight then I have to loosen it just a little bit like that test it make sure that the bubble card isn't going anywhere and uh, okay so since this is okay I just take my uh, back section uh, and sometimes the 3D printed chassis will get in the way of uh, the uh, back end getting inside all you have to do is just lift the plastic just a little bit so that it can thread in nicely and this is a very nice fit and when it tightens make sure that you align the grip to the clamp and that's that. Now I'm going to tighten this just a little bit. And there we go. Configured uh, back and forth very easily. Let me thread the pommel onto the uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, rip section. And so that you don't lose your things, put the clamp card back in, change your um, red button, put it inside a bag or someplace where you can um, where you can have access to it and something that I've seen on a lot of New Hope lightsabers, I've discussed this in one of my other videos, sorry um, something that is very very aesthetically pleasing but it does come with a disadvantage uh, if you t loosen the uh, clamp retention screw and you take it off completely I've seen a lot of uh, a New Hope lightsabers. Generally, I've seen a lot of Graflex lightsabers where the clamp, if I just loosen this a bit, the clamp sits uh, against the um, the grips like this, so there's no space between the grips and the clamp. And I really, really think it looks gorgeous this way. But the only disadvantage is you risk uh, losing your uh, screw, your retention screw, and 
that's not only it, but if you want to open uh, your clamp and uh, show off your chassis and remove the rip section off, uh, your clamp will be uh, moving around. Unless you just tighten the clamp, uh, you push the lever down, but um, that's why the retention screw is there so that you don't have to mind that. So let us put the glass eye replica back on. And that's that. So if you want to show off your um, crystal reveal uh, chamber, all you have to do, well, at least in my book, for assurance, I would put the, um, I would keep the retention screw on. So I'm going to put this in my little bag. I'm going to keep my little precision screwdriver in the bag. And I'm going to have my uh, Allen keys next to me so that I can uh, do some interchanging whenever I want. And that's it. You see, I switched it back to what it was. And it looks great. I really, really like it. I never thought I'd get until now. And it's a very good purchase. I really thank Corbanth once again. He also gave me an extra pin that I requested. And um, that's that. So, um, I'm going to be signing off now. Next time I'm hopefully going to show off my blade. And after that I'm going to be starting with some Star Wars content on my channel. Uh, I hope you guys uh, look forward to that as much as I do. And um, if you like what you saw, please support my channel by liking, uh, interact with me directly. I also have a Twitter page um, that I think I should link down below. Yes, I will link it down below. Uh, so, um, without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you again.